Right, so you look at the table and you can see the results. It says use the results table 3 to calculate the mean tide of value. Use the mean tide to calculate the percentage by mass of sodium methane weight in the original sample. So percentage by mass of sodium methane weight, that's how much you need, okay? Now the first thing you need to work out which titers we're going to use. So you need to go uh, to concurrent results. So you can't use the rough, the rough value, so you have to ignore that. You have to use two of them, they are actually concurrent, so they are between 0 0.1 centimeters difference, okay? So looking at that, you can see you can pick 2.25 and 2.3, this one, those two, because they go within 0 0.1. So the first thing you do, use the mean tighter, calculate the mean tighter, so put mean tighter, mean tighter equals to um, 20.25 plus 20.30 divided by 2. If you equal that to 20.275. Uh, 275 centimeters. So you got the mean title of this, this uh, question first. Now the next bit to do is that once you have the moles of ethanoic acid present, you work out the MR of ethanoic acid, the molar mass of ethanoic acid, first of all, and is 60. So if you work out that CH3COOH equals to 60, okay? So then you go moles times MR will give you mass. So mass equals moles times MR. So it'll be 0 0.05677 times 60, which just give you 3.4062 grams. Now we know that the total amount present here of grams is 5.6, yeah? So if you say the next bit here is the mass of ethanol weight, sodium ethanol weight, equals to 5.6 minus 3.4062, which gives you equals to 2.1938 grams. So you have the mass of sodium ethanol weight. So if you want to work out what is the percentage of sodium ethanol weight, you do this value here, which is 2. 938 divided by 5.6 times 100 then you end up with the percentage of sodium methanol weight percentage of mass of sodium, sodium methanol weight is 39.1 percent and that's how you do this question on june 2001 paper one i hope that was helpful and we'll do in a bit we'll do another one um, so here, this question here, just to finish off, the student here in CCP read the ionized water before filling up with sodium hydroxide solution. Stating it's plenty effective and it's rinsing off, you have the value of the tie test. So if you don't, if you don't, if you put water in your burette, you're going to dilute your solution. Okay. So because the sodium hydroxide will be more dilute, sodium hydroxide would be more dilute because you add water to it because it's water present so therefore the value of uh, the tighter would increase of tighter increases okay so be a higher value of the tighter so that's how you answer that question i hope that was helpful thank you because the ratio ethanoic acid and sodium hydroxide is one to one, because you only got one hydrogen each, so the moles of ethanoic acid is the same. Ethanoic acid is the same as the moles of sodium hydroxide. So it will be equal to 0 0.00709625 moles. Okay? Then you work out this is the moles of sodium hydroxide in 25 centimeters now how much is in 200 okay. the whole there looks 200 so if you into 25 centimeters is how much is in 100 
So in 200, it's going to be, say, uh, it's going to be one. Uh, so this is in 20, see how much is in 200. So it will be 0 0.0079025 times 200 divided by 25. Okay? And that will give you um, 0 0.0567 moles of an ethanoic acid in 200 centimeters cubed. So that's the first part you're doing. Right. Now we're going to do uh, some titration calculation. I'm going to show you how to do this sort of titration calculation because some students find it quite difficult to work things out like that. So you're going to do stepwise. So it says a student is provided with a 5.6 gram sample of ethanoic acid, which is this formula, contaminated with sodium ethanoate, so it's not pure. The student is also sampled ionized water and makes up of only 220 centimeters cubed. Okay. Then the student removes 25 centimeter samples of the solution titrate stem with 0.35 mole DM2 sodium hydroxide solution. Table, show, table 3 shows um, results of these titrations. Right, the next thing you do is that you're going to work out the amount of moles of sodium hydroxide because it says students all sample the ionized water and titrates against them with sodium hydroxide. So we need to know the moles of sodium hydroxide. So we have got a concentration. And we have got a volume here, so we can work out the moles of sodium hydroxide, yeah? So, moles of sodium hydroxide, I'm going to use it in this space, moles equals concentration times volume divided by 1,000. The reason we do volume divided by 1,000 is because volume is in centimeters cubed and you have to change for the M cube to match with the concentration, okay? Which is in mole per decimeter cube. So, moles equals 2. 0 0.35, which is here, a value there, top, times 20.275 divided by a thousand. So if you do that, you work out the moles of sodium hydroxide. The moles of sodium hydroxide gives you 0 0.00709625 moles. Okay, and this is in 25. Now, we need to work out the amount in ethanoic acid in 25 centimeters cubed. So the amount of moles in ethanoic acid is the next step, okay? 